So we're going to decide to manipulate this joint. Before you do a manipulation, you want to typically do your stress tests, ligament stress tests that we talked about. Explain to the patient what is going on as well and make sure they don't have any contraindications. If all of that is clear, we're going to do a tallow curl manipulation. When we do the, the manipulation itself, we want to bring our fingers close to that neck of the talus and our elbows close together. So you'll notice in all manipulations, your forearms almost give away what the direction of your force is, whether that's in the lumbar spine, cervical spine, extremities. So when I do this, I start with my fingers a little bit above the neck of the talus and take up that soft tissue slack. I bring my elbows close together. I get to that barrier and I lean back. Now if I felt there was something going on with the knee or the hip, I might have somebody come in and hold that down a little bit. The patient should not slide down the table. You don't have to bring your A game, you just have to bring a sufficient amount of force to separate the joint surfaces. So in this particular manipulation, elbows together, lean back, and I do my pre-manipulative hold. Does that feel okay? I'm gonna do a push. There may or may not be a pop. Is that okay? Okay. So I'm gonna come this way. And you do the manipulation. And again, you get an audible, and you don't just, okay, healed. You gotta do the neuro re-ed, so go ahead and sit on up. And we'll go ahead and push up into me. Good and relax. Good and push up again. And relax. So we do some neuro re-ed here. And then in weight bearing, so go ahead and stand up over here and go ahead and turn and face this way and bring this leg forward. Good, now I've just got myself in a position, scoot over this way a little bit, but the same position, good. And I'm gonna have you face the window. Yeah. Okay, just to make it easy. So the mobilization with movement is getting your hand into that area where the neck of the talus is and doing that glide and then having him start from neutral and we're going to have you step forward a smaller step so you don't lose your balance and then and hold that there and now I just want you to bend your knee a little bit and we're going to get some dorsiflexion there we go and hold 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 come back but keep that foot forward good and then come back again one two. so we're doing a mobilization with movement I'm not pulling so hard that he's going to lose his balance. And I'll continue doing that about with two or three second holds, holding the pressure forward and back about 10 times. So now go ahead and face it. Uh, so yeah, face the camera and just do a squat a little bit and lean and see, see if that feels any different.